Hey everyone, J7Js here, bringing you a video on an amazing Final Fantasy Tactics mod called Remixed. For those of you that are huge fans of the PS1 version, to me, this is the reflection of perfection and the true definitive edition of the game that is very true to vanilla with some amazing quality of life features and additions. For starters, you can now flee from random battles at the start. While I love Final Fantasy Tactics, not having a retreat option was one of its very few flaws which the advanced games eventually added. In Remixed, this dream is now a reality. On top of this, you can view the map beforehand, taking a glimpse of the enemies and terrain prior to actually fighting, and you can even go back to the formation screen to adjust your equipment, abilities, and even who you want to deploy. While many of us know the game very well, sometimes we can get caught off guard in random encounters. In battle, just in case you want to move to a different spot because you made a mistake, you can now redo that action, very reminiscent of the FFTA games. If we do happen to get a game over though, the player also has the option to retry instead of just being kicked back to the title screen, saving us even more time. We can also reveal where the hidden items are at the start of battles, but just in case you wanted to see the items of some one and done fights, this feature is for you. And lastly, we can also change the battle music to other themes you may like better, and there's even a mute option just in case you'd rather listen to something else while playing. The bar's proposition missions have also been revamped so they aren't just gaining JP only. Units sent out can level up as well as gain bravery and faith, making units a lot easier to transition and to be used in future battles. There have been a few tweaks to certain jobs and characters, but they are all fantastic changes to give more variety and better balance. I'm just going to highlight the ones I like best. Archers are a bit more useful as they now have two added abilities. One is an attack that can't miss, and they have another ability that can interrupt enemy casting and charging. Their equip ability is now better as you can also now equip regular bows and crossbows. Dragoon jump abilities add plus one to its range and they stack on top of each other. Lastly, jump damage can now be increased with attack up and two hands, which makes a lot more sense. Melidal's Mighty Sword can be used with spears, and it works on monsters as well. It can still do damage versus targets with safeguard or maintenance, it just won't break their equipment. The sibling duo of Rafa and Merrick have also been improved with better stats, and they will have at least one of their attacks land on the center tile, making them a lot more useful. There are a lot more changes, and I encourage you to visit the website and try the mod out, but I just have to mention these last three. Luso is back, but he is now the game's true and only blue mage, as opposed to just being a Ramza clone with Poach or Secret Hunt. Cloud Strife can now use Limit with many other weapons instead of just Materia Blade. And finally, the coolest change to me is in addition to having a new game plus and continue plus, Alma will join the party and she comes with Ultima and all Ultima. Just like Ramza, she will have both male and female stat growths, and she won't leave the party if her bravery gets too low or if her faith gets too high, making her the ultimate mage. In some of the harder fights, you will have more options, such as being able to skip Weedgraft's phase 1 and choosing not to save Rafa, making these infamous softlocks not nearly as insane. At Fort Vesela, you can also send a second group to the south or north wall so you won't miss out on those fights, and other characters can flip the switches of the dam as opposed to only Ramza. Deep Dungeon aka Midlight's Deep is now a lot more enjoyable. Exits are no longer randomized, instead every possible exit is a viable exit. Landing on an exit during the battle gives the player the option to go through it, which skips war funds and war trophy rewards, but it ends the battle and unlocks the next floor. Beating the battle without finding the exit causes 5 crystals to drop over the 5 exit tiles, and it allows the players to choose whether to leave the battle without unlocking the exit, or choosing to stay. But choosing to stay lights up the map and ends the battle once the player steps onto one of the exit tiles. I usually hate this place, but now I don't mind it anymore. Although Palace of the Dead in Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together is another story. 
In your first playthrough of the game, guests can now be deployed in random battles, so you can mess around with them if you want. So this means it's easier to do the Gaff Garion Ninja Night Sword trick. You can now do less grinding. Well, sort of, it's still up to you. Learned abilities can be refunded to regain the JP spent on them. Just note, reaction support and movement abilities equipped by the player cannot be refunded unless you unequip them. You can now shift your units around in the formation screen so you can organize them how you want. And in the Brave Story menu, you can play the rendezvous missions in single player mode. And just note, math skill is banned, so you'll have to think of and use different strategies. And for those of you that want monsters or more party members, the bench hack is back for increased roster size. There are many more great changes, so I highly recommend reading them on the FF Hacktics website for more details and information. Before I end the video, I have to give a huge shout out to Nizer over at FF Hacktics for this amazing mod, and of course, Elric for making the base Lion War. If you're a fan of the original Final Fantasy Tactics, this is the true definitive remaster of the game we love. Thanks so much again for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you all next time with more FFT videos.